Did not have a chance to record a good morning, show you the babies or anything this morning. I am eating a small bowl of cottage chaise. Um, last night, well, another bowl, meaning I had one yesterday, not today. Um, my phone was blowing up today. It was all over the place I did a live stream putting Legos together I might do the one tomorrow and then we did our get to know me questions hmm. so that uh chicken didn't really sit well with me so I need I'm getting ready to go out to the pool my live stream wouldn't work OBS was acting like an asshole there was no sound at all, so I had to restart it. And so I'm, I'm like three and a half hours getting late out to the pool because I wanted to be outside by 12.30, but it's like, well, almost three something now. Oh. It's 2.30 now. So two and a half hours, or two hours late. But, um, because now the pool is pretty much in shade now. Because now the pool, it's like, it's weird because I can tell how the sun is changing. Because before, it would finally be in full sun at 12. And then by 3, it would start to, but now it's like 11. I noticed at like 11 o'clock, the pool was in like almost full sun. And now it's like 2.30 and it's almost, oh, and my battery's almost dead. I forgot to charge my battery. So I gotta wait a few minutes. But um my brain just is not functioning or working at all. So I'm just like hubby came home from work early as well. He didn't sleep last night. And like I said, wifey was texting me this morning and this one was texting me and then I talked to my girlfriend and then my, my one good best friend that's in like the Carolinas, she's texting me. I'm like, what? Like, she's in devastation. I'm like, what in the universe is going on right now? Like, why are all of us going through like this hard shit? Like, we're not in Mercury retrograde. Can't blame it on that. Hmm. That actually starts when school starts. Fun stuff. Um, I know Venus, Venus retrograde starts, but I don't really know much about that. I know Mercury just because it's so, it has such a negative effect on everything, but I'm like, Jesus Christ. I'm like, are we stuck in a permanent Mercury retrograde? Like, what the fuck? So, I don't know, but... I just, I have so much to do and so much I want to do that I just don't even have the motivation to do anything. Like, my list is just getting longer and longer. And, like, the first thing I want to do is clean all this up. I need to get my shit mailed. I need, Wifey well, was supposed to take my Amazon returns back. She hasn't done that. I need to go drop that off at FedEx so I can get my next part for my lymphedema machine. That hasn't happened. I want to move the cat tree in front of the window. I need to clean. Like, it's just, I got, I got stuff to do. But I just haven't gotten anything done. I'm just not motivated. Like, so much shit's going on that I'm just, like, mentally exhausted. What is up? What is up? I'm outside. I kind of want to sit in the sun for a little bit. I think that's what I might do. Like sit out in the sun for like, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes and then get in the pool. I let Brayden know I was coming out. So he said, okay, but 
it is three o'clock because I had to end up charging my watch. But as you see, the pool is now, except for this area, is covered in shade. And that is definitely not what I wanted to do. I wanted to swim in the sun. But like I said, you could tell like the days are changing. This fucking machete. Ugh. Um, you could definitely tell that the days are getting shorter or whatever because of the uh, the way the sun is switching. But I like to swim in the sun. But I think I'm just gonna sit here on the uh, on this chair. My eczema cleared up pretty good. It still gets itchy every now and then, but I still have this like really bad scar on my leg. So like right here, that's where like the deepest one is. That's finally gone. But like, look how my skin's like all shiny and stuff. It's like kind of, then like all this, I hate that. It was going away. That's like hard, like, I don't know, but yeah fun stuff so I think I'm just gonna sit here in the sun for like 15 minutes or so and then I'm gonna get in the pool get my laps in get my vitamin D I have my feet on the ground do some grounding just kind of like veg out listen to some meditation stuff I couldn't think of the word just kind of do some grounding, do a little bit of meditation. All right, Brita should be coming out here any minute. Let me get a little bit of, get a little bit of tan on and get my legs. My legs are so tore up from the kittens. I got like little claw marks and scratch marks all over, but I just wanna do some wusa, so. And then if you guys don't know what ladder ball is, this is the ladder ball set. So you have to reach 21 points and like each team, like you throw the balls, like, I don't know, you have to get it wrapped around three, two, and one. So we kept hitting threes, but no twos or ones. But then I got one yesterday and actually won the game. So almost knocked the thing over, but I won another one. Okay, so I'm fixing to make dinner. I know this is not the most flattering angle. I'm so sorry. Um, let me put this back in the refrigerator. I'm fixing to make dinner. Hubby and wife, we ran to the store to give me some sodas that I'm not supposed to be drinking, but they had to get some other things. And I'm going to make, I took a vote, kind of, sort of. And I said, what do you want me to make for dinner? And I gave them the option. So I was either going to do a chicken Alfredo, chicken spinach Alfredo type, like, pocket thing that's the only way I could think like to express it like a little pocket thing and um or I was gonna do like little meatball I'm telling you these little cups and stuff like between with the keto diet between casseroles because you have to bake everything <laughs> like throw everything together between casseroles between the muffin cups and fat head dough stuff. It's like, I mean, I know that there's other options, but nobody won't eat any fucking vegetables. So I'm like, I gotta make it work. And hubby, one minute, I, I try so hard. I try so fucking hard to make sure that whatever I make, hubby will eat. I will ask him, what do you want? He can't eat chicken because it makes him sick unless I bake it. If I bake it and then it's still 50-50. Eggs are still 50-50, which, fun fact, if you have gastric bypass surgery, eggs is usually the first thing that most people cannot eat for a long time. Eggs because eggs is just liquid chicken and chicken. Like my one girlfriend, when she had her weight loss surgery, she still cannot eat chicken to this day. And it's been like 10 years since she had her surgery. She still cannot eat chicken. So, I wish I had the reaction to where I couldn't eat um, sweets anymore and that they made me sick, which it does, it will, trust and believe, but I can still get a little bit more than what I should. 
and that's my downfall is sweets and i love me some bread but god bless six four seven bread in the zero carb tortillas and fat head dough which is what i'm making today because i haven't decided if i wanted to do the pizza calzones or if i want to do the pizza roll-ups like they look like whatever so i'm thinking i might do mm, i kind of wanted to eat well whatever it's it's whatever oh i need the egg so I'm gonna make fat head dough. I wanna insert some pictures of my recipes that I use and my like original one and I'm gonna like zhuzh them up some. But I think I'll probably do, hmm, I kinda wanted to make like little calzones cause I thought that would be, I thought that would be fun. But whatever. Okay. So how much mozzarella do I have? I like to use a lot of mozzarella. And I really don't, I really don't go by the actual recipe. I just use that as a uh, suggestion. <laughs> I use it as a suggestion. Like, cause I, I always end up doubling it or something and you can make it sweet. You can add sugar and stuff to it because believe it or not, this recipe you can make savory and or sweet and you get like really good stuff. And who would have thought mozzarella cheese? I had, oh, I was like, I just looked at it. I have another bag. So we always buy the huge bags of mozzarella, um, especially from like Costco and stuff. I am not measuring anything, so, so sorry. And then um, I have cream cheese here. I'll probably have to wash my hands. Oh, it's a little, it's hard. Well, this is the cream cheese that I used for the, uh, remember the sausages that I made? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna put the rest of this in there. Cause you're supposed to use two tablespoons and this is definitely more, but that's okay. But I'm just gonna throw the rest of this shit in there. But yeah, I was on just Breezing's live stream. So. I love her community. I hope that one day my community will build up to her community. It's nice. Like, don't get me wrong, I like FFG stuff. Some of her stuff, like, I get, like, I think I've said this before, FFG reminds me of my New Yorker Italian grandma, or aunt. She's like my favorite aunt. The attitude, everything, the straight, like, no sugar coating, nothing. You know, like, she's kind of awkward like because she doesn't really not that she doesn't have feelings like she has feelings clearly but like the way she accepts them like it's just you know because she's just matter of factual and I have to say um FFG has been on point with a lot of stuff like I mean a lot of stuff like she has called a lot of shit. So you can't deny that. But I really like Just Breezing's community and I know they have beef, but like, I really do just genuinely like their community. It's just such a great, like a bunch of great people. The vibe is amazing. And I don't like how F or um, Hootie Booty goes after just breathing it's not right you know what I'm saying oh I guess I should preheat the oven let me take this out I'm just gonna start it on 350 as per usual um like there was like a couple comments that FFG made and I just like legitimately just rolled my eyes like whatever like it's like being friends with a friend being friends with it's like being friends with a friend and then it's like one of their friends you don't really care for and they make comments but you like the person that they don't and it's like you know what I mean so you just kind of just ignore it because you can be friends with two different people like I said I don't always agree with FFG I don't but Breezy's community is just so chill and relaxed and down to earth and it's just a nice community and I feel so accepted there and I love them it's a great bunch so and if any of you are watching my channel from the breezy community first of all 
thank you for your love and support. I truly appreciate it. And welcome, welcome. All right, so I am melting. You're supposed to melt, in case you didn't know. Go ahead, though. You're supposed to melt your cream cheese and your mozzarella cheese together. And it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be a little bit more than this. I know you guys can't really see, but that's kind of what it looks like. I'm just mixing it together. It needs to be a little bit more, I'll put this in for a few more seconds. It's supposed to be more liquidy than this. I'll put it in for an additional 30. And then I'll put my seasonings in it. But like I was saying, if you came over from Breezy's community, again, thank you guys so much for your love and support. I have a nice little community here. I love my little community. They put up with me and my ADHD. Um, I do a lot of the same things that our girls do. And it's like, that's why, again, I don't mean to repeat myself, which I do do a lot. I do do. <laughs> I do do that a lot because of the ADHD. But, and again not that I agree with shit that Amber Lynn Reed does but I get it like I understand her because a lot of the shit that she does is from ADHD and I don't even think she realizes it and whatever okay so yeah that's what that is supposed to look like and then we're gonna add I'm gonna add two eggs look these are fresh from the chicken's booty hole. They're fresh from the chicken. These are farm fresh eggs. Legit. I asked my girlfriend or wifey, cause she's the one who gets them. I was like, does she have any roosters? And she's just like, I don't know. Why would you, I, how would I know that? I said, well, if she has roosters, you have to be careful because you crack one of these eggs and might have a chicky chicken inside. And she's like, I don't know. And then she actually asked her. She said, no, she doesn't have roosters. <laughs> I was like, okay, it's all just a female farm. Okay, so this doesn't look the best. It looks kind of gross. But let me get my almond flour. I always keep it protected and sealed. I use so much, so much Ziploc bag. I use them for everything. So again, I'm not measuring. I'm just literally pouring some in here because I want a nice dough. And I'm gonna have to get my hands in here in a minute and like really start incorporating it all together. To be completely honest. And then I need to add I think maybe I could just do like a yummy like calzone because that would be freaking delicious right <laughs> is it just me okay I'm gonna add more flour so this is what it's like looking like all right I'm gonna add some lemon and pepper or lemon and pepper pepper and garlic, but I'm also going to add garlic powder. Oh yeah, I add a lot of garlic powder to it. I know I have onion powder, but I don't know where it is because somebody's been fucking around in my cabinet. Some oregano. I know it's oregano, but let me tell you. Um, my son, is this the onion powder? That's ginger. I don't know where my onion powder went. Garlic, garlic. What's back here? Poultry. Uh. Anyway, I had onion powder, but I guess I don't have any more. Um, what was I saying? I don't even really remember what I was saying. Okay. I'm going to take this stuff off. Of here stir something up one of my favorite mixers 
All right, I'm getting my hands in here because you want to mix that cheese mixture in with the almond flour to get like a good, like actual dough type feel. And when it's not sticky anymore, you know you've added enough almond flour. I've been making this, like I said, I don't, I don't measure, I just pour and feel. I just pour it and feel it. Oh my God, Foodie Booties thing. It's, so I had, I remembered, cause you know, I don't remember much stuff cause hello my brain. Um, FFG in her one live stream, she was saying how something about crab, like, I don't know, the subject of crab got, came up or something. And FFG was saying how much she liked crab and like all this other stuff, right? And um, she's like, watch, foodie booty get crab. Her mukbang today was crab. I'm like, she's totally, I mean, we know she watches FFG. But I'm like, I hope FFG live streams and remembers that because I was in the chat and I'm like, oh my God, FFG was ta literally just talking about snow crab in her live stream and said, watch foodie go get, watch foodie get um, crab and she did. Um, excuse me, little boy. These ca these ones don't know not to come on. Oh, 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 oh. Get it, get it. <clears throat> He's in the sink. Okay. And it's like, I can't say anything about having cats on counters and stuff because I, my cats are always on my counters, but I also clean them 5,000 times a day because my cats are on the counters. But I also know their litter box, not that it matters, but their litter box is pretty clean. Okay, now see how this has come together. It's actually like a dough now. I've mixed this up and it's not like, don't drink that. And it's not like super sticky. Like that's when you know you got a good fat head down. Okay, let me wash my hands and get everything set up for the next part. So, I went ahead because I just didn't want just pepperoni. So on this plate, I have some breakfast sausage that I cooked up and shredded. I also have some beef meatballs. I just threw in the microwave and heated up. So we got that going on. I got sliced provolone and I have pepperonis, of course. And I'll probably put a little bit more mozzarella cheese in there. Also got my rolling pin and my parchment paper because I want to roll this out. I just cleaned the counters again because well, you know. All right, I'm trying to make space for you guys. Okay, I have so much shit on my counters between like all the oils and the seasonings and I clean. I don't know if you guys clean with rubbing alcohol, but I use this instead of um, Windex just because it's whatever, but I also wipe the counters with it a lot as well. Okay, so let's bring you guys down here so you can see what the heck I'm doing. We'll take my dough and I'm gonna just try to start spreading it out. And then I just wash my hands, give me this. Because I need another piece of parchment paper. And I'll put this on top, which way would be better? Probably this way, I guess. And you're gonna start rolling this out. But you need to do it on the parchment paper because it doesn't really. I need to put. I usually. I don't have my rubber gripper thing. I think Cubby took it. I usually put like those rubber gripper mats down. You know what I'm talking about? Like you put them like under the rugs and stuff. But then sometimes you don't really get a good, because this is a big batch, which is fine. 
But like I said, when you make this fat head dough, you can make it sweet. You can add sugar and cinnamon to it. And you can make like um, cinnamon rolls from this recipe. You can make keto cinnamon rolls. You can use the, um, the swerve sugar. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> you can use, um, like I said, the swerve sugar. This is also the dough that I use to, um, when I make my uh, pigs in a blanket. I use this dough with the little smokies and stuff. Trying to get this side a little. There we go. Oops. This side's kind of whack a mole too. paper off and then we got this big sheet of fat head dough all right we're gonna take some real garlic now and really i kind of with this i kind of just want the juice like i don't know if you can really see but i'm like legitimately just getting juice and just kind of sprinkling that all over. I mean, there's real garlic on there too, but you know how that goes. All right, let me go put this away. Actually, before I do that, we're gonna put some of this fake ass Parmesan cheese on here. Like that. Okay. All right, I just knocked you guys over. And I'm gonna take my pepperoni. And I'm gonna start just kind of layering it. These are gonna be pretty big. Okay. And then I'm just gonna take this and just sprinkle all this all over. I would put some pepper. This would be so good. Some peppers and stuff in here too. Oh my goodness. Okay. And see, because we all have gastric bypass, this shit's going to last us forever. <laughs> it legitimately is. Because we still got meatloaf cups in there from yesterday. So. Alright, so now... We're gonna take our provolone and put our provolone on here. I don't need as many pieces as the provolone. It's gonna be so cheesy. I mean, in this community, can there really be, I'm gonna put a couple extra pieces of pepperoni. Okay. All right, let me put this stuff away and then attempt to roll this. Okay, let's see how bad I suck at this. It's already not going to a good start, but it'll be okay. It'll be all right. Yeah, some stuff is gonna, it's probably gonna come out. Kind of move this stuff up a little bit. Press it down. It's going a little better than I thought it would. Oh my goodness. Okay. And let's just, it's heavy. This is huge and heavy. You know what? I think I'm just going to cook it like this. And just cook it. And then we'll just cut it up that way. Okay, so this is my favorite pan. 
I think it's a roasting, it's not even a real pan. It's like a roaster thing. So I'm gonna pull this out. Ooh, I can't even. She is heavy. All right, so let me see. Can I move this in the middle? Kind of tuck this end in. And I'm just gonna kind of tuck this end in. And it's gonna be like a cow's on now, I guess. I don't know. And then I'll take a knife and put some slits across the top, right? And then we're gonna take this garlic butter that I, I told you guys I save them all the time for cooking. Where's my blah, 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 blah thing? Oh, I already used it. I thought I had another blah, 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 blah thing. Oh, I don't have another blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, whatever. Let me just stir this like that. And I'm just gonna pour it across the top, smooth it out. Nice buttery, oops. These are my knives, my sets that I had for work. Oops. I'm gonna save some of that. Okay. Pull some, this stupid, now I'm flinging shit everywhere. Oh my gosh. All right. Now we're gonna add some Italian seasoning on top. And hold on, we're gonna add some Parmesan on top. All right, I should have did a TikTok on this, but I just wanted to change the camera angle real quick so you can see the beast. Like, that's my counter. <laughs> this is the big roll of parchment paper. It goes almost end to end. She biggin'. She's a big one and she is heavy. All right, I'm gonna pop it in the oven. Okay, so I put it in the oven for 25 minutes. And it's gonna bake. I'm gonna check it in 25 minutes. I don't know how long it's gonna take for like the middle middle to get all ooey and gooey. We're gonna have leftovers for days because tomorrow we're going to the carnival for dinner. So Friday and shit, we're just gonna have to eat leftovers. <laughs> like point blank period. Unless, well, I'm sure hubby will want me to make something, but we still got all the meatloaf and this is going to feed us for days. So, well, Brayda might get to it first, but it's going to feed us for days. Okay, I just got pulled outside and then I forgot this was in the oven, but it's nice and crispy. I'm going to pour the rest of this butter on top. Like, who wouldn't eat that? Like, seriously, who would not want to eat that? Looks amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this end piece. Hubby yelled at me, he's like, why do you always use steak knives to cut everything? I'm just like, because, oh my goodness. Look at that. Uh oh, I'm dropping it. Look at that cross section. Mm. That looks good as shit. All right, I know she's hot, but I just want a little end bite. Most of the dough. Look how it like. Look at that. That's good as a motherfucker. That is good as a motherfucker. I highly suggest you make it yourself. Look at
NYX does the same shit. She will lay on my computer. So... All right, friends, here is everything that I ate today for breakfast while well, it was on live stream. So it was more like a brunch. Um, hubby gave me those boneless chicken things that I ate during the live stream. And then for lunch, when we got back in from the pool, me and Brayden ate a small salad. Of course, for dinner, I made the keto pizza thing. And then for snacks, I had a jello whip that I made the other night. And I did snack on some pork rinds here and there throughout the day. I don't think that was a pretty bad day. Hello, hello, friends. So I just wanted to record a quick outro and just say thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. I truly, 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 truly appreciate it. I appreciate all your love and support to all my new subscribers. Hello, hi, welcome to my little speck of the YouTube world. Um, so if you guys see my true blues, my friends who have been here for a very long time, if you see some new people in the comments, say hello, say hello, hello. And, um, yeah, so, uh, I am waiting, uh, for wifey to get up because we're supposed to go take a walk. I don't know if she's still going to sleep, but I'm ready just in case I'm going to go feed the babies. And because Miss Luna Bean is waiting so patiently, but I will see you guys in the next vlog. So please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, please be kind because you don't know what kind of battle someone's fighting. So don't be a dick. You don't know what people are going through. Trust me. Don't be a dick. Okay? Thanks. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.